subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an update hello everyone this is Meghna from getsoftwareservices.com so at GSS we provide extensive training on different QA or testing topics like QA manual testing automation testing performance testing mobile testing business analyst SQL many more so please do visit our website for more details so today's session we will be learning about roles and responsibilities of a quality assurance of a QA so if you are working as a QA then what are your roles and responsibilities what a QA is expected to do so that's something which you will know at the end of this session so we'll get started when you're searching for a QA job these are different job titles that you will come across test engineer quality engineer tester quality inspector QA engineer quality manager quality control inspector test technician so these are different job titles that are given in the job description for a tester's job or a QA's job quality analyst so these are different titles that you will come across so when you are searching or applying for jobs as a QA or as a tester so all these are something that you need to look for now let's understand who is QA and what does a QA do now QA is a person who gets involved in improving the quality of the product improving the process of software development find defects in the application and also prevent the defects from occurring again so he is involved in finding defects and also preventing defects from occurring again or make sure that it does not enter the next stage of software development the QA knows at what point he should get involved he should have a plan in place so make sure that testing goes as per the plan also he will work on test environment should be ready he'll make sure that the test environment is ready before the testing work starts QA should also know in and out of the application so it is important that he understands the application well he should learn the project requirements get all the doubts or queries clarified regarding the requirement and keep himself updated with the project requirements he should know in and out of the application in order to perform a good testing on the software so that's about who is a quality analyst and what exactly he does on a very high level but let's understand the specific roles that a QA plays test analysis QA is involved in analyzing the requirements that would be the first step that a QA does like I said before he needs to understand the requirements well he need to know the requirements well only then he can test the application he will know what should be there what should not be there on a software he also makes sure that the requirement is testable it should be up to the mark there should not be any ambiguity in the requirement document there should not be any information missing in the document so he has to make sure that the requirement that he has got is up to date and can be referred for performing the test all this is part of test analysis or it's also called as requirement analysis the next main role that a QA plays is test designing where he creates his test based on the requirements in this particular stage 
we prepare something called as test scenarios and test cases in simple terms we make a list of different things that should be tested based on the requirements that we have got before this test planning is also done we prepare a plan where we mention what should be tested what will not be tested when we have to start testing by when we have to complete it who's going to test all this information is prepared as part of planning and then testing is carried out as per the plan so test planning and designing is one of the role that a qa plays and then comes test execution qa has written the test now he starts testing them on the application he performs the test based on the list of things that he has written and find errors or bugs in the software and report them to the developer so he can fix it that is part of test execution so make sure that all the defects are reported he should also track the defects and ensure that all the defects that have been opened are closed and then the other role that qa plays is test manage he monitors the testing activity make sure that the testing goes as per the plan track the progress of testing on a frequent basis make sure that testing is completed before the deadline and communicate all this information with the stakeholders the progress of testing and any report or numbers metrics that has been captured is communicated with the stakeholders with the team members so they have an idea where we stand so these are the four major role that a qa plays now let's understand the responsibilities of a qa the first responsibility is to make sure that he understands the requirements well and any doubts any questions regarding the requirement he should get it clarified from the business analyst or a customer and then comes test planning where you plan your test you schedule your test you make a list of what will be tested what will not be tested and then write the test cases conduct testing both functional and non functional identify defects or problem areas in the system report them to the developer make sure that the developer fixes it once he will fix the defect you need to keep a track of status of the defect make sure that the defects are fixed retest them once the defects are fixed qa has to retest them to ensure that it is working fine work on the improvement areas like lessons learned what can be improved or what can be optimized due in this testing process what more can be done or what best practices we can bring in so that the testing can be done in a much better way and all the documents that are created during testing they should be well maintained so it can be used in the future releases so qa has to make sure that all these documents created during testing are maintained for future reference so these are the responsibilities of a qa so right from understanding the requirements planning the test designing the test cases executing them reporting defects tracking those defects working on the improvement areas and maintaining these documents these are the main responsibility of a qa now how to become a qa specialist or what knowledge a qa should have when he has to apply for a qa job what a company expects from a qa qa should understand the sdlc well you should know each and every stage of sdlc what testing tools are used should have a good communication skill because that plays an important role when i have to open a defect 
I need to make sure that the information that I'm giving about the defects, they are appropriate and the developer understands what exactly is the issue. QA must have a good knowledge on requirements. He should understand the application well. He should know everything about the application. Terms like bug life cycle, what documents are created during testing, different types of testing that are done, different levels of testing, what are part of test management like test planning, test strategy, test approach. These are the terms that a quality analyst should no. QA should also test the application from an end user perspective. Should think like an end user as a customer and see what issues the end user is facing when he is working on the software. Report them and make sure that these things are fixed. So these are the expectations. So these are the characteristics that a QA specialist should have. Now let's see one sample job description when you're applying as a QA specialist, what terms are usually mentioned in the job description? A good communication skill, because that's something which is important. QA is involved in designing test cases, is involved in writing a good defect report. So all these things requires a very good written and verbal communication skills should have knowledge on system testing functional testing these are different testing types gui testing regression testing sanity testing smoke testing he should be aware of these terms which are nothing but different testing types tool experience knowledge of tool tools which are widely used in the market like alm and jira tool knowledge is a must for a qa Good knowledge on SDLC and STLC process, software development life cycle and software test life cycle. Knowledge on these life cycles is also a must. He's, should, he, he's involved in, he should know how to design test scenarios, how to design test cases, how to execute them. And how to keep a track of all these assets that are created during testing report the defects keep a track of the defects knowledge of defect or bug life cycle front end and database or back end testing and in many places you'll also see they would ask for automation testing knowledge because automation is something which has a lot of scope in current market because it saves time and money the execution is much faster so if a QA has knowledge on automation testing or any of the automation testing tool, it is easy for him to switch between manual and automation. So it's always an added advantage if you have knowledge on any of the automation testing tools that are widely used in the market. Certification also plays a key role. It is not mandatory to get a job, but if you have a certification, it is like a benchmark of the knowledge. The, the, uh, they know that you understand the concepts well. You're aware of the concepts and terms that are used in testing. And strong analytical and problem solving skills. QA is also involved in improving the process of software development. He'll work on how the quality of software development, how the quality of the documents can be improved in each and every release so we can do the testing in a better way. So you should have good problem solving and analytical thinking. So these are majority of the things that you will see in the job description when you are applying for a QA position. So it is must to have knowledge on these topics. Okay, so that's about what you can expect when you're applying as a QA, what are the roles and responsibility of a QA and what are the major tasks that a QA does. So that's all I have for this session. I hope you enjoyed the session. Please do visit the website www.getsoftwareservices.com for more details on the course that we offer. Thank you so much for watching. Good day.
subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an update.